Ganito kainit ang pagtanggap sa Unit Team Rally sa Pangasinan noong nakaraang buwan. Ayon sa grupong Olopan, pitong araw bago ang mismong araw ng botohan, lalo pa raw dumami ang sumusuporta sa tambalan ni Presidential Aspirant Bongbong Marcos at Sara Duterte. I, I think uh, uh, BBM will get uh, no less than uh, 75% of the votes in uh, Northern Luzon and uh, Mayor Indai will get uh, as much as 65% above. Uh, so this is a landslide victory for the UNI team in Northern Luzon and in the province of Pangasinan uh, I can say that uh, based on the recent survey that I have seen conducted by Ulupan, uh, BBM is going to get also that much between 70 to 75 percent and the mayor Indai will get between 60 to 65 percent of the votes of uh, the people of Pangasinan. Ang Ulopan ay mayroong isang daang libong miyembro sa Pangasinan. Ayon kay Atty. Lambino, sa ikli ng panahon bago ang mismong araw ng halalan, mahihirapan na anyang makahabol pa ang makalaban ng uni team. The uh, groundswell of support uh, in favor of the uni team uh, Can, cannot be overtaken or cannot be overturned anymore. So uh, as far as uh, Northern Luzon is concerned, it's really a solid north for BBM and uh, Mayor Indai Sara. Dagdag ni Atty. Lambino, ang suportang nakukuha ngayon ng tambalang BBM Sara ay pasasalamat sa mga nagawa ni dating Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos sa Pangasinan at sa buong Norte. As far as uh, Mayor Indai Sara Duterte support here, We can say that this is also by virtue of the uh, support, assistance, and uh, leadership of President Duterte. Base sa tala ng Gomelec, sa buong Pilipinas, Pangasinan ang pangatlong lalawigan na may pinakamaraming botante. Noong 2016 elections, mas malaki ang botong nakuha ni BBM kontra kay VP Lenny sa Pangasinan noong sila'y nagharap sa pagkabisepresidente ng bansa.